Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Estefania with Rustic Olive and today's video is gonna be about this baby right here. This is Ilangin Gold from M. Mikalif. This is my second purchase from this house. But before we get into it, I just wanted to quickly make an announcement that I unofficially opened like a fragrance Instagram. And what I mean is that it's under construction, as I like to call it. It's not completely set up. It's just me posting my scent of the day here and there whenever I have the chance and just reposting shenanigans and all that kind of stuff on my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> but anyways, if you're interested and want to follow, my Instagram is still the same name as my YouTube name with an underscore in between. So rustic underscore olive. So now that I threw that out there, I kind of want to get into this perfume right here. Um, I bought this one as soon as it was released. I saw on Instagram that they were gonna be releasing this fragrance right here in the 2022 version. Um, obvious difference between this one and like the older one was that this one has like a mattified bottle with the gold, hand-painted gold on it. Um, it's not completely opaque. You can still, if you put it up to light, you can still see the level of your perfume where it's at. Which is, I always appreciate that to see how it's going. And when you buy from their website, they give you the option to get like free engraving. And I forgot what the other thing was. And then you can get a free little pouch with a travel spray. Um, I got this one as well. It's the same fragrance, Ylang and Gold, uh, just in a little travel pouch. I just find it super convenient because if I go somewhere, I don't necessarily want to potentially ruin the entire bottle. So that completely works out for me. My hair is just crazy. Like, I'm destined to never have good hair days. Anywho, so let's talk about these fragrances. I wanted this one since last year, but I just couldn't get a hold of the original packaging. And then when they announced this one, I just like, let's order it. So when I order from their website, it's a blind buy because there's nowhere here in the United States where I can go and sample it. But the notes just really appeal to me. I can't say that I went into a lot of research about it. I saw like one YouTuber that posted about it. Um, but there's a few things that I learned about this one myself. And I'm going to talk about those. So... If you remember the original bottle with the clear and it has like the gold floating around, I didn't know whether or not this one was going to have the same gold floating around. It does. I actually wore this to an office the other day. I got several compliments from it. It left the trail. So that was pretty cool. One thing I noticed though was that like on my mouse and on my cell phone and all that stuff, like anything I was really touching, there's gold dust. So I'm like, it can't be from this but it still has the gold inside the liquid so if you spray it it's still we run way hold on okay there. it still has gold that gets sprayed onto your skin and that's something to mention because if you're trying to use this like on an occasion that you don't necessarily want to have gold dust under you or over you just keep that in mind. I would actually recommend getting the travel spray in that case because, as well, because the travel spray, and I'm going to show you, this one does not have any gold in it. It's just the clear liquid. So I'm glad I got that as a comparison. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention was the fact that, yeah, I can see the gold dust here. You cannot, though. You kind of see my hand, like, sparkly, but not the gold glitter so yeah um another thing that i found interesting that between these two i don't know if it's just me and my head playing tricks on me but when i spray this one on this hand and i've sprayed this other one on the other hand it smells different to me i don't know why i don't know if the gold dust plays a part in the composition of the perfumes but the one on my right side, like the one from the travel, the travel spray, it smells slightly different. There's a sharpness to it. 
that I don't get so much from this one. And that's the initial spray. Once it dries down, they're super similar. But there's something more sharp with just the clear for whatever reason. I don't know if... I don't know how these things are made, so I don't know. But there is a slight sharpness from that one. And by sharp, I want to say it's like a bitter citrus kind of a thing. Like something bitter. So let's talk about the notes on this one. I know there's a few YouTubers that mention the notes and all of that. And before I get into the official listed notes from the website, I want to talk about what I get from it. The senses that I get from it. So... I smell white florals. That's one of the predominant notes. There's a white florals. There's a citrusy portion of it. Those are predominant to my nose. You smell the vanilla. You smell something tropical in there. I can't say it's the Ylang Ylang because I've never been too much of a fan of that scent. So whatever it is blended together, it smells amazing. Yeah, but it, there's just something tart in there. There's something citrusy in there. There's that vanilla. It's light and airy. It is not a dense perfume. So if you're one of those people that don't like things that are extremely heavy and intoxicating and like are just going to be like surrounding you the entire day, I definitely think this is a good perfume because this one is airy. Yes, it's powerful. Yes, it lasts a long time, but it's airy. It feels light. It feels fresh. There's also something slightly herbally. And very, very slightly. It's not one of the predominant notes. It comes in once the scent settles down. It's not at first spray. It's not like the initial blast. So now that I mentioned that, I do want to go through the notes. Um, because I don't smell like 80% of them. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just maybe it's me or I don't know. Okay, so let's see what it says. Top notes, geranium, citrus, middle notes, sandalwood, ylang ylang, base, coconut, vanilla. So those are the official listed notes on their website. Um, if you look in Fragrantica, it lists a bunch of notes and those are the ones that i'm saying like i don't smell like 80 percent of these it says it has fruity notes peach lychee sage tangerine artemisia rosemary geranium bitter orange ylang ylang sandalwood mint magnolia rose lily of the valley vanilla coconut musk and oak moss it lists a great amount of things on fragrantica i don't know if this is like one person's interpretation but I can tell you, like, I am extremely familiar with lychee, and I do not smell that at the top. Lychee smells like rose to me, and I picked that fruit, like, straight off from a tree. Like, I am extremely familiar with that fruit. It is one of my favorite fruits ever. I don't smell that. I don't necessarily smell peach. I don't necessarily smell peach. I definitely do smell the citrus. I do smell a bitterness coming from it i do smell an herbaceousness like herbally but this one says rosemary and it has mint so it's not like a cooling fragrance there's an herbaliness to it so if you have a mint plant you might know what i'm talking about it's not necessarily like that gum fresh feeling it's more of like the herbally part of it the greener part of it Magnolia, I would agree. There's definitely white florals in it. Rose, same thing. Like it, lychee, rose are very similar. I don't smell that necessarily. Vanilla, yes, it is there. Very beautiful. Coconut, yes, it gives it a tropical vibe. I think I mentioned ylang ylang. Musk, let's talk about the musk. I don't smell much musk. There are some fragrances that are very musk heavy and you know it has musk like... I don't know, Apollonia from Zershoff. That one's a super iris and musk. It's like musk, musk, musk. If you don't like musk, I really think you can still love this one. I don't think musk is going to be an issue for anyone who does not like musk. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous perfume still. So those are the official notes. Um, that's my take on it. I really do think that this perfume is special. I'm really glad I have it in my collection. I think I'm going to use it 
a lot during spring. I think it's good for year round as well. I mean, here in California, it's already getting in the 80s again where I live. So it's starting to be in that kind of time of the year when you when you can wear it. And either way, like you can still wear it during winter. It's just very airy. It's not a dense fragrance. What else? What else? What else? Did I mention the shipping? I don't even know anymore. Super quick shipping. They ship like I've bought so much stuff like in life <laughs> throughout life like from books from college to a uh, monitor like so many things clothes etc from online and honestly this company for whatever reason ships faster than stuff that I buy here in the United States how does that work I don't know I don't know what strings they pull but trust me you will get your package almost immediately I get the I get stuff from them faster as my second package lightning fast shipping I honestly recommend it Another good thing is, like I said, they have like the three little options for free when you purchase from their website. And from my experience, I don't get charged taxes for it coming into the United States. I don't know about other countries, but those are three definite pluses for me. Whatever the conversion is, that's what I'm paying for shipping, taxes and everything included for lightning fast shipping. I really like this company so far. I wonder if they're ever going to come out with anything like this in the future i would definitely buy it if the notes appeal of course but yeah um that's all i have for today thank you for watching and have a good day bye